Okay, we're on the move. Today we're doing something a little different. Heading out for a surf casting mission, a little land based sesh. I haven't done one of these in so long, probably like a year or two, but I've got all the gear now and it's a uh, terrible con weekend conditions wise to get out on the kayak, so I've got no excuse not to get down here for a land based sesh. Got a strong easterly, so I'm out on the east, uh, west coast and just walking down to the surf beach now. Never been to the spot before, been eyeing it up for some time and I'm very excited to get down there and check it out. So, I'm not sure how far this walk's gonna be. Should be about, I don't know, hopefully only five minutes or so. But I'll see you guys down at the water. Made it to the spot, has a punishing walk in. So much dense bush and the path was halfway underwater, so it wasn't the easiest entry, but we're down here at the beach now. Gonna get the rod set up and get that first bait in the water. So what we've got today is a basic surf casting rig, so breakaway sinker, two hooks, and swivel at the top, and it's gonna be tied on to our shock leader and bait it up and cast it out. in the water, we're in business. Now for the second rod, I've just got a smaller, it's not a surf casting rod, just a boat rod, spin fisher boat rod. And I've just got a simple sinker on a trace, three-way swivel, which has a very light leader and a small J hook on the end. So this one is gonna sit on the sea floor and hopefully will snag us a gurnard, but we'll see how we go. Thirsty as hell after that walk in. That was a real mission. Just shows how unfit I am off the kayak, I think. So I also brought the soft bait rod with me and I'm just gonna chuck a power bait on, uh, flick that around, 
see if anything grabs it. Be interesting to see if I can get something off the beach with the old soft baits. There you go, nicely done. Razor sharp hook. Two fellas next to me have just caught their first fish for today. Let's have a look. It's a nice kahawai. And uh, yeah, beautiful size. And tell us, what bait did you catch that on? Chicken breast. Chicken breast. <laughs> so these fellas, they're using chicken breast. There goes the best bait, better than squid. Better than all the other baits, eh? <laughs> That's hilarious. Seems to be doing the job anyway. Meanwhile, I've been out here an hour, two hours-ish, and uh, still no takers. So maybe I need to bring chicken breast next time. <laughs> Alrighty, finally hooked up to a fish. It's been a very slow morning. Oh, I think it might have got off. I know, it's still there, still there. I was thinking we were gonna go home empty handed for a minute there. But no, we've hooked up, finally. This was on the uh, smaller rod, the one that was just sitting on the sea floor, so it'll be interesting to see what this is. Hopefully it's a gurnard, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, so we'll just wait and see. It's pulling a bit of line when it hooked up. It's a good sign, hopefully it's not something tiny. Right, here we go, what's it gonna be? Kahawai, I think. Oh no, I think we've got ourselves a trevor. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice trevelli. <laughs> Check that out. Beautiful trevelli. It's target species acquired, stoked. Yeah, nice trevally. Yeah, big one. Stoked. Oh, there we go. Target species acquired. Stoked as beautiful size trevally. And here it grunting away there. And that is exactly what we came for. That was just on the smaller rod. That was just sitting. Uh, with the bait on the sea floor, and it's done the damage. Stoked. Well, the tide's gone out significantly, and I'm thinking about moving spots. It's really shallow back where I currently set up back there, only about a metre deep. So I might move out and down here a bit, where I think, according to the maps anyway, looks like it might be a bit deeper. One sad thing about this spot is that there's just rubbish everywhere. Like, so much rubbish, polystyrene, plastic, all that bad stuff we don't really want out here. Well, we don't, we definitely don't want all that. Broken up polystyrene bottles, you name it. It's crap everywhere here. It's really sad. It's all just washed out to sea. Can't imagine how much more is out there off the coast. Yeah, not great.
Okie okay, doke, we're on the move. My hands are absolutely full. <laughs> but we're gonna move just down there and see how we go. The waiting game continues. No action so far, I've been here about half an hour. Just gotta wait and wait and wait and hopefully that fish will turn up. It's starting terrain, which is not the greatest, but come all this way, so may as well persevere. And fingers crossed, something turns up. Wait now. Alrighty, giving it another half an hour, but it's pouring down now, so time to go, I think. It's a wet one, but we're locked and loaded. Time to uh, make my way back to the car now. Got a bit of a walk ahead of me. I've literally just spent the last 20 minutes trying to just find the path to get back up the hill but we're up the hill now the rest of it's out of the way so now you just gotta get through this bush behind me and back up to the car Okay, made it back to the car and that's gonna wrap up today's mission. I really enjoyed getting out there today and doing something different. Like I said, it's been a few years since I've got the surf casting gear out. So it was real fun just doing something different, going on a mission to somewhere I've never been before. And to get that Trevelli today was just the icing on the cake. It was really awesome. Hopefully you guys liked this one as well. Um, if you did, let me know and I can do more videos like this in the future. Could be a bit of fun to go to some new spots and just trying out different surf casting locations. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.